In this lab, we will integrate VMware ESXi host into the ACI fabric. These are the tasks we have to complete to complete the lab. Tasks 1, 5, 6, and 7. Uh, these only needs configuring once per ESXi host. First task is to create an AEP. I will go to Fabric, Access Policies, Policies, uh, under Global, uh, we have AEP. So we only need to create AEP once. For this EXSI host, uh, AEP is already created. Uh, we don't need to create it, but I'll show you how to create it. Uh, right click on the AEP, create a new AEP, uh, give it a name, vCenter B. AEP and uh, enable infrastructure VLAN. Click on next. We don't need to do anything here. And we just click finish. Because the AEP is already created, um, I will not um, save the changes. I'll just cancel. So once we have the AEP created, we go to the AEP and we need to add our VMM domain. So we click on the plus sign. It's showing us the warning it will affect these things. So I go to the port 16 VMM domain, update. Now our VMM domain is added. I'll go to virtual networking under VMware pod 16 VMM domain, which we already created in the previous videos. Select create vSwitch policies. Click OK. And go to the vSwitch. And now here we can select our interface policies, which we created already. So I will, I will disable LLDP and enable CDP. Submit. Submit changes. So it can take a few seconds to update. Okay, it's still loading. Okay, submit. Okay, now if I go to my vCenter, I can see uh, CDP is enabled. Next, we need to create interface policy group. I'll go to Fabric, Access Policies, and under Interfaces, Leaf Interfaces, Policy Groups, and Leaf Access Ports. There is already a, a policy group created for ESXi host B2. Um, so we can see it's already there. I don't need to create it again, but if I wanted to create a new one, right click and create Leaf Access Port Policy Group. Um, give it a name, ESXi-B. Interface policy group. And then we select any interface policies we want to apply. So enable CDP or disable LLDP or any link level uh, interface speed settings. So here we need to just select the vCenter AEP, which was created in task one. So I won't save these settings because the policy is already created for that ESXi host. So next we need to create interface profile. Um, interface profile is already created for this um, ESXi host, but if you wanted to create a new one, just right click on the profile, create a new give it a meaningful name related to the ESXi host. So next we need to add interface selector, um, give it a name interface selector. So next we need to give the interface ID where the ESXi host is connected to the leaf and then select the interface policy group. Uh, let me just double check. I think the port is 36, not 33. So I'm not going to save the changes because there is already one created. 
and I can see here uh, B2 for interface 136. Next, we need to create um, a switch profile. So I'll go to switches, leave switches, um, profiles. Um, the, there is one already created for ESXi B2 host, but if you wanted to create a new one, uh, we can click on the on the tools and create a new one, or you can click on the profile and then right click, create a new switch profile. We give it a name, ESXi switch profile, switch selector, uh, and in the blocks, I will select leaf two because that's where the ESXi host is connected. Update, next. And then in the associations, I'll associate it to the B2 ESXi host. Okay. Because this is already created, I will not save it and I'll just cancel it. So this is how the uh, profile will look like once we have created it. Now I will go to the to the leaf and check the configuration. So if I log on to leaf two, so this is where the ESXi host is connected. Show interface e one slash thirty six brief. Okay, here I can see that the port is trunking and it's up. So we should see that the port is up and trunking. If there is anything wrong in the config, it will be down. So next I go to the vCenter and select the, the vNIC associated to my pod. So here I have vNIC 6 associated to pod 16. So once I've selected this and saved the config, and yeah, looks good. So go back to the leaf and do show CDP neighbors. So here I should see my ESXi hosts. So I can see ESXi B2 